Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. Today I have a 1943 Banner Era Gibson J45. These are kind of the top dogs of Gibson flat tops. I think they're such a good value. You know, you compare this to a Martin of the same era, they're a fraction of the price, and they're just, you know, totally on par. I think Martin have this incredible quality control legacy. They're kind of the perfect dreadnought, but there's something really moody and these just have a certain texture that players love, studio guys love. They're personally some of my favorite guitars ever built. My old man had a Southern Jumbo growing up, so my ears are kind of calibrated to that tone, but I think they just look great, and they sound really, really nice with vocals over them. They have this deep, cool, distinct tone that you can't really get anywhere else. Um, they're very different than modern Gibson acoustics, which are oftentimes crisp, they have a mid-scoop, they sound great, but these just are their own world and there's something that you just seem to evolve with and you grow with them. They're, they're really, really a special guitar. I was on a shopping spree looking for guitars for the shop in California, specifically Blackguard Tellies, Old Strats, Tweed Amps, and Gibson Flat Tops, and there were none, surprising enough. Uh, I went to like six shops. And one of the last shops I went to, I saw this in the back, you know, with no tag on it, I asked him what was going on with it. It was the owner of the shops who wasn't in that day. And I ended up buying like four or five pieces, but to kind of seal the deal, I was like, you gotta call the owner, let me talk to him, try to get this out of his hands. Really cool guy, and we struck up a deal. I paid a lot for it, but I needed one of these in this shop. It always bugs me when there's not a banner logo on the wall, because that's what I like to see, and I want people to, you know, be able to experience that when they come through the door. This one really spoke to me because it was in great shape. Big fat neck, as you can see. This era, there's a lot of changes that they did. There's a shortage because of war supplies and so no steel truss rods. You know, this is the Kalamazoo Gal era, so the best guitars that Gibson ever made, in my opinion. There's just a voodoo to these, and this one had it going on, so. A really lovely 1943 Gibson J45. Something that you would be happy to have forever, pass down to the kids, write, record, do whatever with. Besides that, it's just a cool piece of art. So we have Matt Rieger in the house today, and he's gonna demo this for you.